Hello and welcome to Shorts in Biology. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain the difference between haploid and diploid. When we use the terms haploid and diploid, we are referring to the number of chromosome sets found in the nucleus. It has nothing to do with whether those chromosomes are single-stranded and made up of a single chromatid or double-stranded and made up of two genetically identical sister chromatids. Therefore, if a cell contained these chromosomes, it would be a diploid cell as it contains two copies of each chromosome. A good way to remember it is that the root word di means two and diploid cells contain two copies of each chromosome. A haploid cell, on the other hand, only contains one copy of each chromosome and thus has half the diploid number. Therefore, if a cell contained these chromosomes, it would be a diploid cell as it contains two copies of the chromosome. After DNA replication, the cell is still diploid as it too contains two copies of the chromosome. The only difference is the composition of its chromosomes in terms of the number of chromatids. So why do the chromosomes duplicate their DNA? DNA replication occurs during the S phase of the cell cycle before mitosis. The reason why it occurs is so that the two daughter cells produced from mitosis both contain a complete copy of each chromosome. If the chromosomes were not composed of two easily separated sister chromatids, the chromosomes would not be properly separated and daughter cells could end up with an incomplete copy or no copy at all of particular chromosomes. The other thing to quickly clarify is what is meant by the term homologous pairs. A homologous pair refers to two chromosomes of the same number. They therefore have the same genes at the same location and are similar in size and shape. However, they're not genetically identical as they may contain different alleles or versions of those genes. For example, both of the chromosomes in this homologous pair have allele A for hair color at the same location but one chromosome may have the red hair allele represented by the uppercase A, whereas the other chromosome has the blonde hair allele represented by the lowercase a. Humans have a total of 46 single chromosomes in their body cells, also called somatic cells. How many chromosome pairs do these cells have? Because somatic cells are diploid and there are 46 chromosomes in total, there are 23 pairs. 46 divided by 2 is 23. How many single chromosomes do human gametes or sex cells have? Also 23. However, because gametes are haploid, they have zero pairs of chromosomes. Fertilization involves the fusion of the genetic material from the two gametes, a sperm and egg cell. So how many single chromosomes will a human fertilized egg contain? 46. The fertilized egg has received a copy of each chromosome from both the egg and sperm cells, so the diploid number has been restored. Therefore, how many chromosome pairs does the fertilized egg have? 23 pairs. So in summary, the diploid number of chromosomes for humans is 46, and the haploid number of chromosomes is 23. Thanks for listening. Hopefully this has helped you to understand the difference between haploid and diploid a bit better. Feel free to post any questions below.